Hi, I'm Alvin, and today I'm going to be showing you how I came up with my recipe for eight desserts in one sheet pan. When I try to come up with an idea for a recipe, what I really want to do is be able to make people go like, wow, and really show them something that they are familiar with, but maybe in a new way, or maybe something that is new to them, but in a familiar way. It's always about taking an element of something that people know, twisting it and making it cooler, making it different, combining it with other things. The end result is to make people go, wow, that's sort of usually the approach I take when I want to really showcase food to people in a cool way. So for the eight desserts in one sheet pan, it kind of came from a time where it was the holidays, I had seen a lot of videos kind of pop up around like, you know, desserts and baking and pie and Food Network actually released this one video that was pretty cool. It was like four pies baked in the same sheet pan. And to myself, I was like, wow, like that's really smart, but can I take it even a little further? I know that pie is just one dessert. There are a lot of desserts out there and a lot of baked goods that people like to eat. My hunch was that around, you know, Christmas time or on the holidays, usually at these potlucks or parties, there would be a widespread of desserts, you know, ranging from cookies to brownies to cheesecakes to pies. I think this crazy idea came about because in my head I was like, man, what happens if you just kind of put all those desserts together? Like, is there a way to take every single dessert that everybody loves and turn it into just one thing? I think that's kind of how the idea was born is I basically thought of what can I use to serve this giant dessert and how do I make sure that everybody gets a piece they want? Because sometimes when you bring a dessert to a party, not everybody likes brownies, not everybody likes cheesecakes, but is there a way to make sure that no matter who you are at the party, you're going to have one piece that's going to speak to you? And that's how I sort of designed this eight desserts in one sheet pan. I wanted to sort of build it in a way where if you cut it in the precise manner, you would end up with just like a bunch of different flavors. You wouldn't really cut it just along where the flavors met, but you'd be able to get pieces or bars that would have two flavors, three flavors, and the golden crown is when you get that piece with all four flavors in them. The challenge with designing this was that no matter what piece you get, the flavor should still go together. So you kind of have to play this weird like math mix and match game of like, do these two flavors go together? Okay, if this goes together with this, then this must be next to here. It was a lot of me, you know, drawing things on a piece of paper and crumpling it up like you do in the movies and throwing it in the trash can. And kind of restarting and after a lot of trial and error I managed to get a certain layout of which desserts should go in which area in the pan so that no matter which piece you got it would always taste great. I'm super super proud of this dish and I'd love if you would all make it this year. A lot of people are intimidated by it and aren't sure if all the desserts would bake together. But actually, I was able to make it on my first try and I really think you could too. And just really customize it how you want. If you do make it, hit me up, slide in my DMs, throw me a little pic. Oh God, that sounds so weird. If you do end up making it, I wanna see how you customize it. Hit me up, send me a DM, show me what you got. Oh yes. Woo.